YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gaming here. Welcome back to Pocket... Nah. Hoops Reloaded. This is not Pocket Stables. I do need to play that game again. Um, I will soon, but I think I'm going to be playing this a little bit uh, more. You know, I love Pocket Stables. Don't get me wrong, but um, there's something about this game I really... I like, even though I haven't played it too much. So, um, just an update. One of our horses died, and we have a new baby horse that was apparently left at our front door. And I don't know if I don't know if it's this one. It might be this one. I don't know. Um, this is a three-year-old mare. I don't know if she's the horse, the baby horse that was left at our front door. Anyways, we're gonna name her. We're gonna call her Night Explorer. Uh, can you change the body? Oh, you can actually change the body. No way. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so, Night Explorer, uh, we're gonna make her, we're gonna make her like a purple, purplish, I have a nice purple though, okay, that's pretty cool, hair green, she reminds me of, um, she reminds me of an anime character, can't think of the name of it, uh, saddle number, we're gonna give her, let's see, we'll give her number five, so, can we do that? Uh, number, wait, number, oh, that's, that's the number color, okay. No, that's, that's how the number four looks. Can we not change the number five? Oh, I forgot, the number doesn't matter. Um, because that'll just depend on our race. Okay, so saddle, we can give her, here's a little, the number four, obviously, is yellow and black like that. Okay, cool. And we're going to call her Obedient Queen. Eh, Bouncing Logic, eh, Animated Mountain. She doesn't look like a mountain, that doesn't work. Don't know what that is. My lover's stun. Huh? Misty Trinity. I like that name. That will be Misty Trinity. I'm going to stick with the purple and green. I kind of like the purple and green, to be completely honest with you. So, yeah. Uh, can we feed her? I don't know if we can. We did feed her. Can we train her? Let's train her in... Let's train her in endurance. Yeah. Okay. We'll brush her. Keep her happy. We aren't going to race her yet. As far as equipment is concerned, what can we equip with her? Nothing yet. Parentage. All right. Um, let's check out a couple other things. Let's see. Those are our stables. Let's go to City Hall and see if we can upgrade anything. Okay, so we can use a token to get a re... Okay, so once you've already done what you needed to do to your horse, it stays that way. But you can change it by purchasing this name uh, recolor token. Okay, you got a couple other things. All right, that's pretty cool. We don't need any of that stuff right now in the city hall. Uh, let's shop for accessories and whatnot. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars star brush, extra brushing happiness. So I'm assuming your horse's happiness goes like up to like a hundred percent with that brush, because two hundred fifty k. Golly, sounds kind of crazy. Um, do we need any of this stuff? Okay, different uh, saddles. That's pretty cool. How many tokens do we have? Actually, I like that saddle. Um. I don't even know how many tokens we have. Where can I check? Okay, we have no tokens. We have 5.5k. Okay. So yeah, uh, your horse unnamed has died at the age of six. Oh, I forgot. This has kind of been real time. So, um, yeah, one of our, our first horse that I did in the first video did die at the age of six. We had another horse that died, and now we have this new one. All right. Um, so does we have two stables? Oh, we have two stables available for two horses, and we have one horse right now. Treatment for your horses. Um, oh, so let's just stick with the mare for now. Via Science Lab Plus. And we don't have any tokens for Sci Lab, Science Lab Plus. Well, let's just go ahead and uh, get her in a race. Can we look at anything as far as her, her racing preferences are concerned? Let's see. I guess we'll put her in a race that I think is best for her, right? Alright, so we have a race... It's about to happen here in a minute. It is fast. 8,000 meters is the distance. 0 to 25k. Oh, okay. So these races actually... Wait, I'm confused. Is that the end? 1k... I'm confused. Is it 1k to enter and then you can win between 0 and 25k or what? Screw it. We're just going to go ahead and... Um, this race has been filled already. That's annoying. Let's go to the next one. This race will run in five minutes. I forgot this does happen in real time. So chances are what I will probably do here... It's just, um, when can you actually go to the races? Because I would like to actually watch other people's horses. I forget, this game is in real time, which is really cool. It's like champion horse racing. Um, 
you know, which is good and bad because sometimes, especially if you're recording videos, you want your races to happen ASAP. It does make recording a little bit more tricky. You know what I mean? Because you have to wait in real time. Um, can we buy a horse? Let's see. Where do we go? Uh, market. Buy a horse. See, if we can buy a newborn. Um, let's see. We have a mare right now. Let's look for a stallion. It's like breeder. I don't know any of these breeders. Does it matter? A newborn stallion will cost 5k. Would you like to purchase this horse? I can't even see the horse. What do you mean? Page. Okay, so the, the horse will cost 5k from all of these? Okay. I mean, I could, but I, I want to wait to see what happens with this race. And then we'll go ahead and buy a yearling or a newborn and, and see what happens with that. Um, so, yeah. So, races. When you click on this tab, this takes you back to the same races screen where you can actually register your horse. Oh, you actually get to watch races. Okay. So, we are racing at... We're racing at 221, right? I believe. I just want to be sure. Yeah, we're racing at 221. Okay, cool. So, you actually... That's what I was trying to do. Because if we can watch the races, we'll watch the races. I, I think that, that's fine. It's, it's enjoyable. All right. So, the favorite here is Psychological Ray. And off they go. The number two is off. I don't know who the number two is. Didn't mean to open that up. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, I think the number two was the other uh, close favorite at three to four. But the actual favorites or physiological... I don't even remember the horse's name. It was something psychological, physio, whatever, Ray. Eight furlongs to go. Is that correct? Seven furlongs to go. Number two is still in the lead. Here comes that one horse, and I did not get their names. So it feels kind of generic referring to them as number two and number one and number four and number five. <laughs> it's like those games like back in the 90s and stuff that had, like, as far as commentary for sports games, that's all they could really do. Number five shoots the ball. Number three scores. <laughs> And there is your winner. Number two, Very You, ended up winning 1.3. Okay, so yeah, the prize money is not very high. A Psychological Ray, that was the other favorite, that ended up coming in second. And then Tattered Dragon, remember that horse. All right. Up next should be Race 20. I forgot you can bet as well. Okay, so, okay, I get it now. So if a real player's name is going to be next to the horse's name in yellow. And then obviously... Um, if there is no yellow name next to any of the horses' names, those are AI. So in this race, we have one human player. April Hugh is her horse. She'll be gate position two. She is the heavy favorite in this field of six. And all the other horses are AI-controlled horses. Tatter Dragon, we have come across that horse quite a bit in our previous episode and beginning here in this one. I'll be rooting for the other human player, April Hugh. She's a heavy favorite. Her horse looks to be all white. We'll see what the uh, the saddle number is looking like as well. But she's the heavy favorite. I don't really know decimal odds um, like I do with, um, obviously, fractions like they do here in America and I think other places. So, horse, it's 2.7 decimal odds. Can anybody let me know what that would be in fractions? Because I don't want to say... Um, two to one. I don't know if that would be accurate or three to one. I don't know if it rounds up. I have no idea. Anyways, they're off. April Hughes horse gets off to a okay start. She's currently sitting in third place. Tatter Dragon is off screen, not even in shot. I actually like the way her horse looks with the red hair, white body, and the blue and two. But man, April Hughes horse is dropping two furlongs to go. She is currently in fourth place, trying to make a late rally, but she is going to get absolutely smoked. April Hughes is going to come in fourth place here. And that did not go well for her at all. I'm not sure what happened. Dependable Legend ends up getting that win. Went off at 9. I'm just going to say 9 to 1, 9 to 2. Jellyfish Moonglow came second. Red Hot Superstition came third. But guys, we're up next. That's what's important. Misty Trinity is up next. Our baby is about to run for the first time. Oh, we got two other human players in here. And we are not the favorites. The favorite is Wavering Element, the three horse. We have another human player with Cinnamon Stun, Luke Phillips. He is the long shot, long shot in today's race, but we are the second long shot going off at 23. So this is a distance of 6,000 meters. I have no idea what this horse's racing preferences are. Like They don't tell you the distance or anything. I'm not sure if you just put them in races and whenever they win or they do well, you figure that's the range they should stay. Maybe that's how it works. I, I genuinely don't have a clue. I should probably read up on that. I'm opening up my spreadsheet just in case. Um, 
Yeah, just in case. Pocket champion. Pocket champion? Pocket champion? Pocket champion. Uh, I'm not going to bet on this race yet. I could. But I prefer not to bet against myself, even though I could win. It's like, if I win, then I win. If I bet against myself and one of the other human players, I could also win. But what if they lose, too? What if we all lose and the AI win? Then I win nothing, you know? So I do, <laughs> I do not want to do that. Okay, so Misty Trinity. She is ready to go here today. And we are off. Slow start for everybody, essentially, in the field. Everybody got off to a really slow start. We are in fifth place right now. We are trailing two furlongs to go. That was a really quick race. Golly, super quick. And we're going to come in dead last. And the other human player that was the long shot, he ended up finishing above us. But golly, we got absolutely washed. And see, none of the human players won. If I were to bet, I still would have probably lost money. Unless I placed a show bet. So yeah, we ended up coming in last place. Misty Trinity. That is not a good first showing. And we l did we lose? We had to have lost money. Of course, we came in dead last. But somebody did bet. Smart people. Okay, this is a race with all AIs. So we're going to get out of there. We're going to go to our stables. And we're going to go ahead and see what the F just happened. Race 20. What? The race is not running. We're back. It says no races run. We ran. What do they mean? Do we have to wait till the next race starts before it, it actually uh, considers that race? Oh, do I want to bet on this? Like, where do you... <sighs> okay, so you can actually click on these horses to get their racing form, but, like, none of these horses... They're all literally, like, the same. There's no difference. There's no difference between any of these horses. So if you're betting, you're literally just betting on just complete randomness. At least for now. I'm assuming once the racing form pops up, there will actually be information. But right now, there's nothing. So let's see if we can check her out in stables yet. Let's see Trinity. See if we can get any intel on that last race. Hopefully, hopefully we can. Okay. So let's go ahead and look. We came sixth in a grade. It says 06 G06. Uh, we came sixth. I don't know what else is there, so I'm not sure... Yeah, like, how are you supposed to know exactly what... There's nothing here that tells you what you should be... We're just going to have to go into another race. Um, we didn't do good at 6,000 meters. Maybe a slower race would be better for us? I don't know. In fact, I'm just going to enter her and be... There's nothing to go off of statistically to, to let us know what is the best condition for a horse. So, I'm not sure where to put her. So, until we figure out where we do well... Um, yeah. Was that oh that race was six furlongs, right? I'm pretty sure that that's what that that's what that was telling us. We came six at a six furlong race. So Misty Trinity. So I'm putting her information in my spreadsheet right quick. Um, so I will take you guys to the races um, while I go ahead and do this, and we wait for our next race because we, I mean we got to figure something out. Suspicious hiccup. You know what? I'm a bet on you, bro. I'm a bet on you. Or yeah. And you can only bet... Okay, you can't place, win, place, or show. We're going to do a show bet just to play it safe. Next. Uh, let's... We're not betting all of our money. We'll bet... Let's bet $500, eh? If I can even get it to $500, this thing will not stay. You know what? Whatever. $510. Make this bet for $510. Yes, sir. Betting is closed on this race. Okay, one minute to jump. How soon do you have to bet on a race? I'm confused. Oh, that's annoying. That option shouldn't even be there. Bet on race. Go to bet on race. Oh, you can't bet for this race now. Got it. I have a feeling I'm really going to like this game as we really get into it. We're just starting off. We're just starting off here. It's a little bit of uh, it's trial and error right now. But I, I'm confident things will really start to pick up, and we're really going to start to enjoy it. Uh, so I have no worries. I think this game is going to be really fun. All right, we're looking out for, well, we didn't bet on this race, but the favorite, human player, number four, bad start. I know, do we all get bad starts? Is that just a thing? Like, the AI get amazing starts, and human players just get terrible starts? Um, <laughs> is that it? Golly. Long race, though. Very long race. Seven furlongs to go here. That human player, the favorite, is still nowhere in sight. I don't know who the number two is. Thank goodness I actually didn't place a bet because unless 
this human player and his horse is able to come up out of nowhere, which they're still not even in screen. This is chalked. Okay, now they're making a last-minute rally with one furlong to go, but are they even going to get third place? I don't think so. Not going to get third. Ended up getting fourth. Thank goodness. That was, yeah, we would have been out of 500 ish plus dollars there.